Bournemouth's final home game then before Christmas. Haven't won in five. Can they give their fans some festive cheer in a fixture that stirs fond memories of December's past? Last season, Liverpool, you might remember, were bearing gifts here. They arrived today determined to put right a difficult week, knowing victory would lift them back into the top four places. Bournemouth rotating today, five changes from the side being at Old Trafford. Entire midfield four change. Jermaine Defoe also comes in. Only four of this 11 started the game last season, but Ryan Fraser who did make a big impact from the bench today. He's on the bench once again. Uh, Liverpool made 12 changes across the last two games. Another four today. Minilo, uh, Minile back. Gomez two. Henderson and Oxlade Chamberlain into midfield. Coutinho pushes further forward as Sadio Mane drops to the bench. More rotation, but Salah starts again. Eddie Howe and Jurgen Klopp on the team news with Patrick Davison. How is Salah able to keep going, keep playing? We took him off a few times. He's a uh, quick recoverer, so um, that's, uh, we, we have we have all the data, of course. And so after a game, we see how they how quick they recover and all that stuff. But then uh, well, we never had an issue. Sadio is similar. He's similar, but he was injured. He was um, suspended and and all that stuff. So that makes it then a little bit. It's, it makes it then different. That's that's all. Eddie, firstly, five changes to your team. What are the advantages to making that many alterations? Well, that's something that we've done over this period. You know, we've got. Um, a couple of knocks behind the scenes and it's just trying to protect people and make sure they come through um, without any major injuries. So just a little reshuffle today. Um, the lads responded very well against Manchester United with the same the same thing. Hopefully it um, doesn't disturb the balance of the team. I'm just going to ask, are the risks to making so many changes? Can you lose a bit of continuity and flow at times? Hopefully not. As I say, most of them today were probably out of my hands. Um, a case of just managing people's load, people coming back from injury and not, not wanting to push them too far. Obviously, Callum misses out today just with a, an, having an injection in his knee, nothing serious, but um, you know that's obviously one that's enforced. Do you still feel like you have that momentum with you that you had pre-Everton, pre-West Brom? Never, I, I was n my whole life never believed in momentum. I was always I knew it. You have to do the right things again and again and again. So you cannot really lose it. Uh, but I know how people are, and um, so it's not about that. Um, the, the fluency or something like that. You see all the games. Um, it's always hard work. It's nothing. Even even City is not playing like this. It, it develops in a game. Then and the last two goals maybe look a little bit easier. But until then, you have just to work hard, really hard um, against each side, and that's the job to do and not to think about fluency or um, how much can we score. We have to score often enough that we can win the game. That's all I'm thinking about. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you. So Mane misses out today. Coutinho and Firmino have, have missed other games, Graham, but why does Salah have to play? He's a top goal scorer. Um, he surprised me this year. You know, you remember him when he was at Chelsea. He would, his argument would be, I didn't get a chance there, but um, certainly since he's come back, he's been he's just been fantastic, um, threatening. You know, he, if he's not scoring every game, which he nearly near enough does, you know, he's missing chances. He's getting there. He's creating things, and he's their outstanding player this year for me. You know, the goals he's got, you know, take his goals out of their game, and and um, it'd be a very different situation for Liverpool. One, one he surprised me. One thing you can't do today is let him come inside on his left foot. As you see it so often, week in, week out. Defenders show him inside and he says, OK, I'll bend one in the top corner for you. You've got to show him down the line. He, he, but he scores all types of goals. I mean, he's been phenomenal. He really has. And he's got that electric pace and makes such great runs from out to in, which is unusual. Normally, wingers want to run in wide areas. He wants to run into the danger. Well, Charlie Daniels is trying to get him going the other way, you think, though? He'll try. He'll try, but you know what? He won't mind. I mean, Bournemouth's big problem today is they've picked a really bold team. They've gone with two wide men with Pew and Ibe, who are not going to do a lot defensively. So at times, they're going to be 1v1 against him. You know, and that's going to be difficult. You're going to have to ask one, one of the midfield players to shift into wide areas. Everyone has got to be on their guard with this guy. You know, I, I'm with Graham. He surprised I, me. The fact that he's a top scorer in the Premier League is, is he's amazing. He's really strong as well. You know, the, the question that was put to Jürgen there was, look at his legs. He's, he's a powerful boy. You know, if you think of the goal he gets last week, he's possibly accused of pushing Everton player over. He's, he's, you know, he's, it doesn't surprise me that he can play near enough every week. He obviously looks after himself, extremely fit, but he's been given strength. He's naturally a strong boy. Um, and I worry, for, I worry for, for Bournemouth today because you've got a Bournemouth team really fancying it. They're going to take Liverpool on in a game that suits Liverpool. Sounds great for me. And that, that, that would suggest goals, but that means we're going to get a nil-nil. Well, nil. well what, about, <laughs> what about Bournemouth's goal threat? Jermaine Defoe. Yeah, I mean, Jermaine rested him in midweeks. He probably thought, 
it's playing two games in, in, in such a short space of time. Um, but Jermaine will be the person that Liverpool are most afraid about because I was just watching him finishing out there. I played with Jermaine at Tottenham and he is one of the best finishers I've ever seen. You know, low, that short back lift, uh, it's so hard to stop because he just hits it so early and keepers never have time to set themselves. He looks as fit as ever, scoring goals and um, phenomenal what he's And done. feeling good about himself after those goals at Palace, Graham, no doubt. Yeah, he's one year. He could do nothing for 89 minutes, and he'll punish you if you give him half a chance, half a look at goal. He's one that, you know, he, he takes the ball early. You know, goal, he gives, he, goalkeepers want to get settled and think about the shot coming. He doesn't allow goalkeepers to do that a lot of the time. He just flashes shots off, and it's uh, a lot of the time it catches the goalkeepers on the wrong foot when they're not expecting it. I, I, I come back to I just think ultimately this will be decided by what attitude Liverpool off to this game. I just think with the amount of firepower they have taking on a Bournemouth team that fancy doing the same to Liverpool is what Liverpool want to do to them. I just think it's tailor-made for Liverpool. Can't wait for this. Can't wait to see Mo Salah as well because with all the rotation going on with Liverpool right now, Jurgen Klopp just keeps on picking this guy. Their Premier League top scorer is on red-hot form. Salah's there! What an impact this man has had. Mo Salah again and again and again! 